Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode we're going to kick off our Octoprint series. In this initial episode we're going to take a look at what Octoprint is, what you do with Octoprint, um, also go over how we're going to install it and how we're going to use Octoprint in this um, series. So first off, what is Octoprint? So Octoprint is an application, in short, that runs on the Linux operating system, which connects your 3D printer, in short, to the web. Now, don't get uh, all excited if you're, you know, you know, not a big techie, etc. Uh, we're going to walk you through how, in layman's terms, to set up, install Octoprint, or basically via Octopine. We'll get to that in a minute, and uh, with the very minimalistic pain. So. Now the other thing I have to share is this entire series is based upon the concept that you're installing this on your home Wi-Fi network and it's properly protected by a router etc because one of the things uh, that we're going to do to avoid some of the confusion is we're going to leave the Linux password for the Raspberry Pi as it is uh, which should not be an issue again this is all at your own risk but should not be an issue being on your own network etc. So with that, again, Octoprint allows you to make wireless use of your printer. It allows you to control your printer remotely, send jobs to it through a web browser, um, use it via a tablet. It's a very interesting uh, program. Um, there are some upsides and downsides, and we'll talk about that as we go through. In this particular case, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be using the Octopi distribution and we're going to be installing that on the Raspberry Pi. So if, if you don't know what the Raspberry Pi is, let's take a quick look at it. So in the Raspberry Pi is a single board computer which gives you some basic input output ports, for example, an Ethernet port here, four USBs, some general purpose input output pins, a connector for an LCD screen, a connector for a camera, an audio uh, jack, an HDMI jack. On the underside here, there's also a micro SD card slot where the card will go for our storage and operating system, and then a micro SD uh, for power supply. Now, one of the things when we get to the hardware uh, video, which will be a separate video, where we cover out the hardware in a little bit more detail, I'll put a list of links in there to Amazon where you can get all this stuff so you don't you know have to worry about did I get the right things and all that kind of stuff we'll, we'll simplify that for Octoprint uh, in short you know pretty much we're just going to be using the the uh, four probably actually about three of the four USB ports the micro USB port to power it and the SD micro SD card slot on the other side for the card so not a, a lot of pieces there. We won't be using the HDMI or any of these other ports here. Now, if you're a more advanced user or get to be more advanced user of the Raspberry Pi, there's a lot of other things you can do with this. So, you know, we're just going to touch the tip of the iceberg and, and show you how to use the Raspberry Pi using Octopi as the distribution to um, install it. So now one of the first things you want to do is go to octoprint.org slash download slash and then you'll find Octopi. Now I'll put links to this all of this stuff below so you don't have to worry about writing this down. You can simply go into the uh, show notes uh, below and, and, and click on it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is download Octopi. Uh, in this case, as we're making this video, it's uh, 0.12. And so once you get that downloaded, uh, it will be a zip file. You'll expand that zip file and you'll create an image file. So uh, that's kind of the starting piece. And then we'll start through these instructions on how to set it up, etc. So we'll cover that out in another video. However, again, I just want to kind of give the pieces of what you'll do with this. Now, a couple other things. Um, that you'll need so to really get started with with octopi too uh, 
being, you know, you'll need Cura Engine uh, 15.04 because one of the things we'll have to do is make an any file or an INI file of the configurations because uh, in Octoparent it doesn't allow you like Repetier Host or etc. that will allow you to configure the slicer inside the web browser. So you have to do it exter external of the web browser and import it. So we'll walk you through that piece, but just know um, that's also what you need. And there's other pieces too with, with Octopi Panel, which is an LCD version, which um, can drive an LCD screen. And, and I showed the port in the last one. So again, there's a lot of stuff to continue on and we'll likely continue on in this series uh, with these pieces doing it, but the, the the first segment that we're going to do or series is going to be just getting Octopi up and running in its most simplistic form, you know, fear of Linux, and uh, be able to get it going. So why don't you go ahead, download um, Octopi right now, and again, make sure you've got all your stuff together that you you uh, you know have the uh, board net. And again, the video which will come after this will walk through the hardware pieces. So it, again, if you're not familiar with what you need, watch that video, and there'll also be links in that video beneath to show which pieces that you'll need. Um, to get so if you don't have this or you're brand new get all those pieces and then once you have those continue on past the hardware video for the software setup so uh, with that again if uh, the series is helping you out hey please give it a thumbs up even if it's not give it a thumbs up anyway I greatly appreciate it also make sure you subscribe so as these come out you're notified of the updates and uh, with that we're going to close out this video and then we'll move to the hardware review video and show you which pieces and show you an actual Raspberry Pi that's set up uh, with Octoprint, the basic pieces that you need. Again, remember the links will be below in the comments and uh, will help you move through this. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll give it a good shot of trying to answer them. And um, also, you know, try to comment, you know, in the uh, in the video where you have the question. So if you have introductory questions, this will be the video and the next video with the hardware. If you have hardware questions, please put them there so I can kind of gauge, you know, you know, the context of your question because sometimes I get questions and it's kind of hard to figure out the context and uh, it just shortens it. So again, cheers and we'll see you in the next. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.